What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So, we're going to check out WWE Top 20 Moments. The fans cheered the heel and booed the face. We've seen this plenty, plenty, plenty times. Especially recently. Um, We all know this definitely happened with John Cena. And we all know how this definitely happened with Roman Reigns. Majority of his career outside of the Shield. He was always booked as the babyface. But the fans booed him just, just with no mercy, man. So we can all attest we have seen this happen time in and time out in wrestling. Especially in WWE. So we're going to check this out and uh, appreciate all the love and support. And uh, road to 50k, you know, all that good jazz. Let's do this. You dig it, dig it, sucker, sucker. He's dead. He's not fancy. He's not technically slow. No. It gets the best of him a lot of times. Oh no! Sit down. To That's crazy. In this position. Wow. Mark going with the figure four. That's crazy. Bro, Mark goes down. Trying to pull it up. Listen to that. Oh, no, That's no, like. No, no. It's over. We got a new champion. Wow. And as you said, I certainly hope that. Got it. Wow. Mark Henry. Hopes to win the gold and solidify his legacy. Yep. It had to be John Cena has, has his opponent. For 112 pounds, he is the world. Henry! See Mark on his face. Think there's some doubt. Kevin. I think you have to earn that championship. Let's go Cena. Cena's so chance. Henry says it. <laughs> Not the sexual chocolate. Yeah, AJ was a heel for a while. And it's one of those things they have to like really try to, you know, live up to that heel persona. And it's it's kind of hard to do when you got 13, 14, 15,000 plus chanting for you, rooting for you. So. Treated elsewhere like World One treated the competition in the box office. And AJ yeah, a lot of people didn't like that. Look three and one, David. A lot of people didn't like that. Oh, come on. You better get Ellsworth out of here. That's been building up for six weeks, and it was a long time coming. Billy moves from SmackDown come on, manager. Come on, Look at this. Oh, look at, look at, look at. Both Dallas and oh. Ellsworth takes advantage again. Oh, no. There it is. Oh, there it is. Stop crushing for now. Not this way. Oh, and a kick out by Ryan. Where is the ball pad? Cover. Miz is a champion. Listen title, to that's Chris Jericho. Listen to the pop. Hell, it's room trash. Just because Roman lost. Ultimate egotist. Oh, perhaps he was. Oh, but this could be the opening. Jericho's get to the race to the Rumble here tonight. Yeah. And when these things happen, WWE sometimes they definitely have to call an audible. They used to do that more frequently back in the Attitude Era and like probably maybe like the the 80s as well. Basically, calling an audible is, okay, well, it seems like the crowd is not really feeling me as a, a, a heel. Maybe I have to switch over to a face and vice versa. Now, sometimes it may be in an area that you're from and you're performing at, but if it's a constant thing, like multiple shows, people are cheering you, you got to turn face and vice versa. That's that's basically what calling audible is. Jericho's got the walls of Jericho locked in. It is front and door. Oh no! Hunt was a finger. Trying to use his leg strength. Hunt. Jericho trying to foot pump in his belly again. It could be the beginning of the end. Look at Punk! Oh, Jericho caught him. Advances in the race to the rumble. This is when The Rock was doing more movies and stuff. And this is when Brock Lesnar was going to be the next guy up. And that's the thing. Brock was a heel at this time. 
Yeah, Brock was a heel at the time, and people knew that The Rock was going to leave. You know what I'm saying? Will it happen to The Rock tonight? No! The fight of the Bravo Bowl! Brock Lesnar has defeated The Rock! Bubba Ray just attacked! What are they doing? And on 3D, putting Jimmy through a table! Yeah, when it comes to them... And now Bubba Ray! No. Oh, people are going to always show them some love. 3D... They're going to always show them for that, even if they're here. How long did we... When I say me watching this match, just in just enjoying it, for the simple fact that we all wanted something different. We didn't want John Cena to be the champ again. And he literally destroyed him. I mean, legitimately destroyed him in this ring. And it was enjoyable. It was the most one-sided championship match I have ever seen. Very enjoyable. It's main event of SummerSlam that year. Fantastic, bro. And the crowd, they were eating it up, bro. Yeah. He was getting oh, the fuck up. Right. Lesnar going for an F5 to Cena with the cover. Lesnar has won the WWE World Title. World champion. He destroyed the streak. Great to get in the ring and compete. Mm -hmm. After what's happened over the past few weeks, Sean for the World Title. Ooh. And Shawn Michaels. But these may have been the most difficult moments you've ever seen. Yeah, this is when he was over. So bad news, Barrett has been running his mouth as of late, King. So tonight, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. I'm afraid I got some bad news. You're saying I love JBL. Oh, no. He was over. Even as a heel, he was over. And no one, re pe people don't really boo Ray. It's rare that they'll boo Ray. It, they'll only boo Ray for circumstances. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> John Cena sucks. <laughs> John Cena sucks. <laughs> oh man! Wow. Counts. No disqualification. Uh, this match, one of the greatest triple threat matches, bro. So good, so goddamn good. This match was really great, bro. Which means King, Rollins the champion Lesnar versus. Lesnar versus John Cena. Fantastic triple threat. It's going, and if you're Joey no, and Jamie, you oh my lord! I see that title on Brock Lesnar's shoulders. Off. Out of SummerSlam. What happened in that night? Fantastic match, bro. Don't let that, don't let that depress you. Go, Brock Lesnar. Come on, people, get behind the Rock. The Rock loves to hear his. And here's the thing, The Rock was a funny heel. He was very entertaining. So even when he came back as a heel, a movie star heel, he was still entertaining. So people were cheering for him. Don't worry, Rock. Don't, don't be intimidated. Rock right back up inside. And just, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock was still a good four or five oh, feet wait, away. Wait, wait. Oh. It's the power of oh. the and it's Body Buster. <laughs> He's a heel, bro. You just love we'll it. We'll get to see that live. This is Roman before you went rogue. I got my ass kicked last night. <laughs> <laughs> the return of Samoa Joe. You get jacked up. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting promo. at Backlash to put you to sleep. <laughs> Samoa Joe. Look at that. Champion. And yes, I do know Joe will be going against uh, Karrion Cross for the NXT title. Uh, I have been watching it just off camera, so it's good to see Joe will be back in the ring. Looking forward to that match, too. And in 2005, but... and he was a face at this now time, too. Oh, and Reigns exploded out of the corner. Almost cut Roman Reigns in half. And now spear by Reigns. This is one of the few times... Roman Reigns was legitimately getting cheered because they didn't want to see they didn't want to see Batista main event WrestleMania. They didn't want to see that shit. 
And this worked because Roman wasn't talking much at this time. He was just uh, the enforcer in the shield. Look at that, just, they're just loving the heels, just destroying the faces. <laughs> and this just sucks, because Bray's not in WWE anymore, man. This is, oh man, sucks. Remind me of, well, it's been an amazing, it's had an amazing year here at Slam. One fall to a, not his son. Shot there, the porn. Yeah, so they walk by the challenge. Look at the RKO indeed. That's crazy. And Benoit again, the veteran Benoit. Look at time. I think this was, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is when Randy Orton did win the the World Heavyweight Championship and became the youngest World Heavyweight Champion. And oh my God, RKO! Orton's got the cut. Oh my God! Oh my God! Mm -hmm. On a historic night. The participants from Sacramento, California. Boom You smell what The Rock is cooking. Ah, guys. Yeah, it's The Rock started getting over because of his charisma. You know what I'm saying? And it's one of those things where, yeah, he's a heel, but people enjoy watching him. So. Little did he know that he was. It has to be. and technically CM Punk was a heel but it was CM Punk in his hometown it there John Cena didn't stand a goddamn chance, bro. Didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Fucking love this, bro. One of my favorite pay-per-views of all time. The selfish and jealous. Of losers, we riot. I don't like that. Bro. Nuclear heat, and he was a face, and they booed him to oblivion. Oh my God, I get goosebumps just watching it. From Chicago, Illinois. Go with one kick to the temple. <laughs> yeah. See, you gotta watch for that. And I like when CM Punk was like, me? No. Him? Yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Classic moment. Classic moment. Very classic wrestling. Yep, right here. This makes sense. I still think the number one probably should have been CM Punk, even though he was technically a heel at that time. You could have maybe said maybe a tweener, but he was a, a true heel going into his hometown. And you know what I'm saying, going against John. Manipulated himself being introduced. 248 pounds. He is a former Tuto Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 200 and Chairs are about to come into play. There's going to be a lot of pain dealt out. We have seen Cena has a little bit of an advantage. Ooh. 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 Basic. their emotion <laughs> and they're lucky the second time yeah man that was good man 
bring back some nostalgia memories. And, and like I said, when it comes to WWE, they used to call the audibles a lot more frequently if they saw something. I was like, okay, we got we to gotta switch you from a heel to a face. You got to be a good guy now or you got to be a bad guy now. But now they are so stuck in their ways a lot of times they won't call an audible. How many times have we been asking for Roman Reigns to be a legitimate heel for years? They didn't want to do it. They finally pulled the trigger and he is without a doubt the best thing in wrestling right now. What would they have done? How would it have been if they would have pulled the trigger when they should have? My moment that I, I think of, the moment I think of is when he beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. That was the moment to make him heal. That was the moment to see the Roman Reigns we have now. If they would have did that, it would have been perfect because he set up. People already ate him because he beat The Undertaker. Now he's a heel. Oh, people want to, people, and he, he, you know, and he enjoys that. Oh, beautiful, bro. But they didn't do it. They teased it, but they didn't do it. Ah, man. So, but comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys agree that WWE should really start doing, pulling more audibles, allowing the fans to kind of really, kind of dictate how they feel about their characters? Do you, do you feel that WWE should listen to the fans more in the sense of, hey, we want to cheer this guy start pushing this guy hey we want to boo this guy you know what i'm saying make him a heel you know we, we don't like this guy let's legitimately make him a heel do you guys think WWE, wwe should you know listen to the fans more in that aspect or do you guys think it's fine the way it is comment down below let me know but i appreciate all of them sport road to 50k appreciate y'all kicking with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace